Hey guys, it's David here. Um, it's been a couple weeks, and um, frankly, I don't really have that much to show you guys. But um, who cares? I'll I'll do a little pickups video for you guys for old times' sake. Um, we took a couple things for my PS One because I dug up my PS One earlier and realized for some odd reason I don't have any games. So I figured I would change that and pick up a couple. And um, what I got today was kind of cool. Second thing is a little surprising, and I'll tell you why. Um, but first off, I'll start with the least common, or the most common thing. I got two things. And um, the first thing I got for the PlayStation was SimCity 2000. Next to SimCity 4, this is probably my favorite SimCity game. It is a single disc game in a double disc case simply because it has a giant manual like Gran Turismo style, you know, just blank tray. But um it ain't no bad. Um I actually really, really like this game a lot. The only downside is the fact that this game is optimized for the PlayStation mouse. And um the thing with the PlayStation mouse is is it's not very common at all and um you know it's okay because it doesn't control too bad with the controller but um this is an earlier release um I think this is from 1996 1995 or 96 because I know this has also been released in long box as well but um there you go pretty good game and um funny story behind this one and um just gonna go out front before I own open it up and show you what's inside that it is the Grand Theft Auto collector's edition bundle and um yeah shiny lettering and um you know it's a little box and um if you look on the back and look on the side it says that it comes with Grand, or Grand Theft Auto, the London 1968 or 1969 Expansion Mission Pack, and GTA 2. And this was released around... Telling from the ads inside the cases, at least, because I have opened this. I'm telling from the ads in the cases, I would like to say this came out 2001 or 2002. Definitely came out later in the PS1's life. But, um, you know, and, but it's a cool little package. The thing about this is, is I almost did not pick this up. Because the pricing kind of made me angry. I almost picked up, before I saw this, I almost picked up a, um, two-disc set for the PlayStation that was a compilation of Grand Theft Auto and the expansion pack. It was two discs, and it came with that in London 1969, the first one. By the way, these games, I don't normally play Grand Theft Auto. I don't really like Grand Theft Auto, per se. But, um, I sort of like the, uh, over the... I uh, sort of like the overhead view days. Nothing, nothing fun about our... Nothing more fun than arcade style just driving and destroying stuff. Just mayhem and utter fun. It's incredible. They're good games. I don't... Check them out, by all means. But, um... Funny thing about this is, like I said, I almost picked up that set with the two. And I saw this behind the counter. I saw this side of it. And it said, Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition. And I asked, do you mind if I take a look at it? And I looked at the side here. And Sony did this later in the PlayStation's life. And they would sell these for 50 or 60 bucks. Or 40 and 60 bucks, depending on what set it was. And this is one of the sets they sold. I've also seen the Tomb Raider one they've made. And I've also seen they made a Spyro one with Spyro, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, and um, Year of the Dragon in it, which I want at some point, but it's rare. And I asked him how much this was in comparison to the set I had in my hand with the two disc. The set with GTA and GTA London was $10. They wanted $30 for this. Only difference is the color of the spine of the cases. This Bo this outer box and the fact that this you know has GTA 2 in it 
and the other set didn't because it had come out in, I believe, 98, shortly before GTA 2 did. And, you know, and they're like, I want, we want $30 for it. And I'm like, look, you want $10 for a pack with GTA 1 and 2 in it. I've seen, or GTA 1 and 1969 in it. I've seen GTA 2 sell for $6 here when you guys have it in. And he looks up the prices online, and I'm like, look, I'm not going to pay more than half what you want for it. By the way, I got SimCity 2000 for 5 bucks, And he looks online, he's like, fine, 15 works. And paid $15 for this. And let me show you why I paid $15 for this. One, it's three discs. You get Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto London, 1969, Mission Pack number one. And the amazing Grand Theft Auto 2. These are complete, down to the special stuff inside. And I mean complete. We'll start with Grand Theft Auto 1. Uh, if you'll notice, it bears the collector's edition at the top. And it has the, the white PlayStation spine. I, have a, I had a copy of Tomb Raider with that spine, but I never had the whole set. And, um, this has... It came with this, and each game has one of these. Here it has Grand Theft Auto, and it has the, um... Has the logos of the developers and it's parental advisory logo like on the PC box. A map of Vice City, a map of Liberty City, and a map of San Andreas. And um, you know, it's got little stuff there. And um, it's a cool little map, very nice. And something I put in the booklet with my receipt that was actually in the case for in the case for this was it's a little clip out and I could tell by the little bars at the top. To clip out from, um, the clip out from Tips and Tricks magazine from the late 90s, early 2000s, that actually has the cheats for all three games, GTA, GTA London, and GTA 2. And this was in the booklet for GTA. So, I was, I was very impressed by that. And, uh, you know, pretty sweet. And so those, that was complete. And after I had checked this, I, of course, checked the others, you know. What cool little knickknacks could the other ones have come with? And, um, you know, so that's Grand Theft Auto, number one. This is GTA 2. I love the artwork on this. It's so cool. All of these are over the head, by the way, or overhead view, by the way. Um, um, and by the way, funny thing about the London set is each booklet on the back says Out Now, Vice City. And what's funny about the disc tray for this is it says on the back part of a set, not for individual sale. And um, on the front, you know, it says requires the original GTA disc to operate, which it does, legit. But what's funny is on the tray, regardless of being, you know, a collector's edition tray, the bottom still says GTA 2 available fall of 1998. And RP rating pending when they knew it was rated M. So I thought that was kind of creative. And this came with this little poster. It, um... Looks like this. It says Grand Theft Auto London. It says don't mess and it's got the little Rockstar logo. And it's a map of London in the game. Solid square map. By the way, this was before um, Grand Theft Auto had those elaborate, like, gigabyte big maps and junk. You know, just, these are all overhead view. You know, just pretty small screen, but not bad. And then, my personal favorite of the three, at least the last time I played them, because I haven't played these in a long time, um, Grand Theft Auto 2. And this actually has two cool little things inside. It has a Rockstar Games sticker, 
which has not been used, and that's kind of cool. I always like finding little, little stuff like this. And um, it also came with another, another little map thing. And um, it says here, uh, respect is everything. Grand Theft Auto 2, Rockstar Games. You got a map here. These ones aren't really labeled per se, but um. Oh yeah, map three, this is, um, map one here, this is the downtown sector, no, not that, yeah, downtown, downtown sector's here, residential sector's here, and then industrial sector, which is on the back, and this is the first Grand Theft Auto game where they started employing, you know, the gang thing into it, that was in GTA 3 and Vice City and so on and so forth. So, all together, I was very, very impressed with this compilation set. Very nice packaging, very nice presentation, and it's totally worth what I spent on it, if not a little bit more. So, um, those are my recent pickups for today. I'm David Gracia. It's been forever, but um, I'll see you guys in the near future. Bye.